anyway this was the first uh, killing or martyr in the town where 98 percent of the population is of Hamadis. and the doctor there are quite a number of doctors who have been going there to devote some time for the sake of the people for uh, giving health care or uh, for giving the, them the, the not only normal health care but they are quite expert and uh, specialized doctors. This Dr. Kamar also went there to serve the nation. And see, it is not only the Ahmadis who are being treated there in the hospitals. 80% of the patients come to the hospital are from the surrounding of uh, Rabwa, the small town. Almost 80% or 90% of them are non amadis So we are giving health care or health facilities or specialized facilities with regards to their health to the people who are not Ahmadis. And despite that, this brutality has been committed against Ahmadis. So our concern is not only because that I should have any vengeance in my heart against those people. But my concern is that because of these brutalities, they are going to call the wrath of Allah. And if that comes, then everybody will be ruined. So just for the mercy we have in our heart for the people, or for those miscreants even, forces us to pray for them that may Allah give them sense. There's a lot to gain and to do because we are not very much exposed. Only this year that quite a number of uh, uh, media people from different uh, media groups or um, agencies have come to attend our conference and now they are giving coverage to our conference even BBC has just started you see we have been here in this country for almost uh, 100 years and for last uh, 30 years our headquarters is here the, the head of the community is living here and despite that media never bothered to give any news about us the major media like bbc and other but this time there's some change so i cannot say we are satisfied but at least there's some improvement and uh, we are fortunate enough that you have you're also here and quite a number of uh, agencies and media people from various countries were here to attend the conference and they have given quite a good coverage this time so I hope it will expand inshallah Indeed. we asked them to come and sit together for common goals and objectives but they don't like to come to us and talk to us in this regard they consider us non-muslims if they consider us non-Muslims, they will never let us sit on a platform which is for Muslims only. So, even we are open, we call them, yes, you can come. There are some common goals. We should let the um, world understand what, is the, what are the true teachings of Islam. And uh, we are even ready whenever, even just recently, uh, BBC, uh, call some Muslim scholar and our representative as well to, to come on the BBC interview. When the person came to know that uh, an Ahmadi is also coming, he refused to come, even on that platform. So, what can we do? We are open anyway. Yes. If you organize such type of uh, platform, we shall be ready.